Alright, I'm going to try and follow this walk for I've got here. I don't know if it's going to mean anything, but it's telling me to go back to the, sh the prophecy chamber. I'm not powerful enough to fight any of the serial killers, but I can't do it unless you want to die from all the sniper hogs, which I can take out. Okay, I mean, I know I died multiple times because I had no ammo left for my uh, voodoo items. Make your way back to the soul gate just before the entrance leading into the asylum by warping to the uh, prophecy chamber, so I'll do that. Right, this is the entrance to the asylum, yeah. Make your way to the soul gate just before the entrance leading into the asylum and break through to collect La Lame. The first piece of the Eclipse. You mean this gate? But that's where I got La Noon, the second piece of the Eclipse. Well, it doesn't really matter because I can't use them anyway, but still. Maybe that was a typo. No, because it says La Lame in the items to be collected as well as the walkthrough. And is La May a different item entirely? La May, the power that binds. Yeah. Oh no, La Lune, the sister moon. It's called something different. Even though that's called La Lune, that's not the moon. So they got the names wrong in the translation on this version. So fair enough, that's La Main. But still, that's that. Yeah, fair enough. Walk down the skin bridge and bust through the next soul gate. Which is this one. Because there is no other one here. But this is just going to take me back to where I was before. If this is going to lead me back to the temple, then I'm sorely confused. Two soul gates. When you have the marcher gads, there are Kedo in the lava. Well, I don't have the marcher gads. So that's a thing. Head to the long skin bridge and into the fire temple. Which I have done many a time. And I didn't know what to do there. So apparently I've got to be here, but I've already tried this place twice. And I couldn't find anything to do. Wait, what? Hold up. It said that I can shoot a door a la Metroid to open doors. When was that ever a thing? There. And there we go. Oh, this is annoying. No, I shot the other two, but I didn't shoot the first one. This walkthrough is by R. Murtha, and this segment of the walkthrough for this particular room is huge. We need to follow the path, the stairway with the lights, and apparently all I need to do is shoot this door, which I think I already did too. <laughs> Holy shit! That's all I needed to do. Shoot that. How did I know that was something I could blow up? That looked like metal, and it looked like it had the symbol that I needed the fire thing anyway. How was I supposed to know that one puny little shot would be enough to break that? It's not a pot, it's not a Dark Soul Govi or whatever the hell it's called, it's just something I can shoot. That's all I need to do. <sighs> Thanks, R. Murpher. Jesus, that, that was so annoying. Why? Why does this game have certain points where it's just... Oh, there's no clues at all. If Jaunty just said, try shooting things. And then I would have shot everything possible, but I've been shooting the corpses in the cathedral. I have been shooting the panels in the little huts of the cathedral because nothing happened there. And there were no buttons other than the two and every other dead end that I found. I tried, I couldn't, I didn't have the things because it's over a fire door wall or the fire thing that burns me if I touch it. And. These just look like decorations on the wall. I didn't know I could shoot these. And good lord. The game just became Metroid in the worst possible manner. So now we got all this to do. And I've already wasted like a majority of my night. Because <laughs> it's like 10 o'clock now almost. We've been going on for two and a half hours. And like half of that time just been spent wandering around. Lost. Alright, so, funnily enough, now we're going to probably have enough uh, Kado in order to get a health upgrade. And this room looks very similar to that big room in Dodongo's Cavern where, you gotta, where you're got you navigating pillars and then you got to jump over them later on. 
This is basically the Dongo's cabin. Six. Almost enough for a health upgrade. I can actually jump out here. Be quick. Otherwise, I'm just going to get burned. Aha! Nice. And there's our switch. Seriously, I, I thought I searched this entire area, and technically I did, I just didn't know I could shoot those symbols. That, it's just, if they looked cracked, but then again, almost everything here looks cracked. So if it looked more cracked to the point that it looked like it was, you know, destroyable, then that would have been like a subtle hint, but there was no hint at all. The heck? Whoa! What are you? Oh god, hang on. Uh, give me that. No, lock on to them, please. Uh, I'm actually gonna die. I can't fight these things. Give me out, 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 give me out. What's this? My, my baton had no effect on him, and now I've got no ammo left. Now I'm about to die, actually. These things can actually die, though. Give me that health. Okay, I don't know what the hell those things were, and I don't really want to see them again because they take a lot of abuse. Um, I'm surprised I came out alive, to be honest. What's this room all about? There's nothing here, but... Must be for something, surely. Alright, well this is that room done. Oh god. I almost got burned there because I tried to dodge wrong and dodge, but... <laughs> dodge wrong and dodge. Good English. But... Got stuck on the pillar. Seriously though, man. I actually do not want to die. I just realised. I do not want to die. Because otherwise I'm going to have to go for the bloody water again. Yes, I've taken out most of the fish now, but it's not the point. Seriously, look at this wall. In fact, this panel is less cracked than the wall surrounding it. There is no indication that this is bloody breakable. There's no visual indication. I thought that was wall decoration. It doesn't even look hollow. And that's why it didn't work before, because I tried shooting it before like that, but... Oh my god, that is so dumb. That is so, so dumb. That's one of those enemies, isn't it? Those are the enemies. I can have a good, nice look at them. They're like mummies. If I shoot them early... I'm gonna lock on you. Oh! Maybe? Yeah, but if you're gonna hide something like this, like progression, behind a wall that doesn't even look like it's breakable, that's a little bit annoying, because like in Zelda, for the most part, if there's a wall that you need a bomb and it's, like, required, then there would be some visualisation that you could blow it up. And for stuff that's, you know, optional, then it's more secret, to the point that it blends in. And if you find it, or you know about it, then well done. It's not like Zelda 1, where it's, like, a blow up of a wall. It just looks like the rest of the same thing. Uh, I want to get that out. I need, to, I, need to kill. I want to kill these things before they give me an issue. Maybe I can't. Unless they come in twos and I have to kill the right one. I'm gonna die as soon as I do this, I know I am. Anyway. 
Sorry, I paused because alarms were going off again. Well, that one wasn't a loud one, but they're going to be going off in a minute. Uh... Nope. Oh boy. I'm going to die. There we go. <laughs> Took that to the face. Well, I'd rather die now. And then make my way back. Anyway, we're back here again now. Let's see if we can get through this without actually getting burned to a bloody pulp. I'll dodge roll in the corners like that. And hug the walls. Oh god. Uh, hold up. Uh, yep. I was about to say, can I get around? Oh, that's great camera. There's one in here as well. There's one in here as well. Maybe I gotta flee to those areas, those rooms, in order to be safe or something? So I'm gonna activate this button. Uh, okay. <laughs> that took a bit longer to go. Shadow Man says something during those moments, so I don't know what he says. Uh, give me the Asin. Maybe this works better. Yes, it does! That works a lot better than the baton. So the other two are going to be down. No, there we are. Yeah, that one's gone immediately. Wait, are they being sneaky? They are being sneaky. Let's jump down quick. If I can lock on them. Or you could just drop down in front of me, that helps. That one's gone. And that one's gone. But that takes up all my Asin weapon, like, like all my energy anyway. But the Asin is the weapon for the job. The baton doesn't do as much to these guys as it does to Mr. Hookie. So that's helpful at least. Could use a bit more voodoo power now. Look how much progress we're making. Just because I can shoot a panel that doesn't look like I can shoot. I'm not going to live that down. That's that's really annoying. At least last time, I couldn't see the entrance because it was under murky water. And I had to turn up my computer brightness. So, that's a little bit annoying. But there you go. So, let's put our weapons away here. Oh, whoa. <laughs> just walk straight into the fireball. That's smart. I was hoping that was like a pot of health day or something. Okay, I'll see what I gotta do. Up here. Blue. No, uh, put my weapons away. Let's go to the left because I'm a lefty. in Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets vibes as well because this feels like the entrance that of a uh, spell challenge where you have to learn a spell and they just make a dungeon out of learning a spell and it's all symmetrical in the entryway. Can I actually walk on this? I can! Hello! Oh whoops, don't do that. Okay, so those are where the enemies are. They're on the opposite side as well. There's one. Oh, and there's a fire door. God. <sighs> Never ends, does it? Now I'm getting Donkey Kong 64 vibes. I'm trying to navigate perilous uh, beams. It's just not pitch black for a change. Thank you. 
for that. I need some of that. Yeah, I, again, I, I, I really appreciate that you guys have stuck throughout all that shenanigans. That are probably going to get cut out on YouTube, but I do appreciate it. It's like, it's been a consistent viewing count throughout the entire stream, so... It doesn't happen very often. So, especially since this was, again, quite last minute, so... Really appreciate. Yes! That worked. That's what I was hoping for. Jump here. There we go. Funny how I can do this easier than I can in Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> Because if I tried to do that with Diddy, I would have been extremely lucky, or I would have failed miserably. Especially since he would try to grab the ledge, but fail, and then, you know, have to do the whole thing again. Wait, why am I doing this long way round? Why am I doing this long way round? Attempts to jump and skip doing the beams again. Press the jump button, but do not jump. Go me! Yeah, I can see that. Shadow. Well, the whole game would give you Shadow Temple vibes, let's be honest. When I press jump, please jump. I bonk. There's a pot in front of me, and it's a Caddo pot, so I would like that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Viking! Hello! How you doing, good sir? You haven't actually missed much. <laughs> we got into the next area. Didn't know what to do. Spent about a good hour and a half trying to figure out where to go by going through every other area. And it turns out all I had to do was shoot a metallic-looking panel with no cracks that throughout the entire game I haven't had to do, and it didn't look like I could crack it, so... Hmm. Fun times, but now we're actually making progress. We've hit two additional switches, and now we've hit the third. And there we are. Now we should be able to climb up there. And that should be the way to continue. Hopefully. Unless there's another panel I need to shoot, which I think there was now I think about it. Now, I'm not going to fight these things. I'm going to just... Oh, no, don't do that. Actually climb up and then jump down. There we are. Bye, guys. Not fighting you. Don't need to. Unless I do, and they unactivate the switch. I guess I would get a cutscene for that, though, wouldn't I? So it's fine. Yeah, these panels. Viking, does this panel look uh, at all suspicious? It looks metallic. Looks like it's part of the uh, design of the level. It looks like it's an ornament or something. Nope, it's actually breakable. Yep. It looks less cracked than the wall surrounding it. And yet I can destroy it. Makes sense to me. And that's literally what was stumping me. Not a single thing in the game tells me that I can do that. I'm just expected to know. Anyway, enough harping on about that now. It's the last time I'm going to complain about that. I'm only saying just to reiterate for people who just joined the chat. Um, to join the stream even, you know what I mean. Let's go. Let's make our way down. I'm not going to jump all the way down, because there is a Dark Soul there! I did the right play. So let's move it this way. And... Uh, boost! Gimme! There we are! And we still only have three bars in the room. That's fine, we're making progress. That was a bad thing I just did there, but that's fine as well, because I need to head down. There's no easy way on jumping down without grabbing a ledge, so I'll just walk down. Hop! More voodoo power. Yep. I'll just keep walking all the way down, I won't miss a pot otherwise, and I don't want to be missing Caddo because I have... A hundred on the dot! Look at that! We have a hundred Caddo, that means I can now get an energy increase if I want. There's the last button to press, we will press that. First trial. I have passed the first trial, he says. Yeah, that was a trial and a half, because I didn't even know where half the buttons were. Thank you for that. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. <laughs> Let's go through here. Oh, the girls are in here. That's helpful. They're going to start attacking me as soon as I try to leave this room. Huh? Unless they're not going to attack me anymore because I've passed the trial. The sisters are winning. The sisters are something. The sisters are something. He said the sisters, but I don't know what he meant by that. 
because I, I didn't hear half the uh, sentence because they start their chanting right uh, when we get to that right when they start attacking and halfway through the sentence so if someone could get me though the, the voice clip that he says here that would be helpful so then that would fill me in it says I can't half hear it and it, uh, tearing down the sound effects wouldn't make a difference because um, what was the point in this? oh oh wow Guess, can I hop up here please? No, grab the ledge. You can easily grab that ledge. You are high enough. I've you've grabbed ledges higher than this. You've grabbed ledges higher than this, come on. Maybe I've got to shoot first. Are you serious? I can't grab this? I can't grab this. I can clearly grab that ledge. You've grabbed ledges higher than this. His arms can actually reach the ledge. They're going over the ledge. That's rubbish. That's rubbish. I've grabbed ledges higher than that. And he kind of gravitates towards them. And yet he can't grab that ledge. Rubbish. <laughs> I've, got, uh, I've got a few things to say about the game at the moment. It's not doing me good. Still enjoying it, but I'm getting a few more questionable vibes going on. Just saying. So we'll come through here. Shoot these, hopefully they'll give me something. No, they don't. That's fine. I can jump down here. There we are. And now I can actually climb up here. Progress has been made. There is a Dark Soul. Give me that. Mine, please. Oh! And we also got a warp point. Would have been nice to have that, like, the previous two visits ago. So what, do I... Oh! That's the first time I've seen that kind of a door, and considering that these are, like, skin passageways, having a puckered butthole <laughs> actually makes sense. <laughs> But it's the first time I've seen that, and that's kind of off-putting. Oh, I remember this! From the, uh, title screen, like, cutaways that are only in the N64 and PS1 versions. You know, when you leave it on the title screen too long.